Welcome to this short video where I'll be comparing FreeApps and OBS. We'll be taking a look at some footage captured with both softwares and comparing the two. But first I'll be taking a look at some key points and comparing some pros and cons and uh, just some basic things that you might want to know about both of these softwares. FreeApps is not free, it's a paid for software. OBS is free and you can go and download it right now. FreeApps' only purpose is to record at source quality and OBS's pur main purpose is actually for live streaming, but it can also record. Fraps has limited settings in that you can't really tweak anything. All that it does is record at the source quality. While OBS has lots of adjustable settings that you can tweak and get it the way that you want it, get it the quality that you want it, but that's also stuff that you all have to do manually, so you'll have to know what you're doing. Fraps is well known for outputting a really large file size and something like 10 minutes of recording can be like 8 gigs of, of space on your hard drive. Uh, OBS, of course, it depends on what settings that you're recording at, but generally it's less than what Fraps has. Fraps will always give you good quality video, whereas OBS, the quality varies on your settings and you'll have to play with your settings to try and get something near to the quality of FRAPS. FRAPS has a recording indicator. It's the FPS counter that lights up red when you're recording. That way you'll know exactly when you're recording and when you're not. OBS doesn't have that, or it doesn't have something similar, so you kind of have to really make sure that you judge when you turned your recording on and when you turned it off. Lastly, I've been noticing fraps have a lot of stuttering and frame drops, especially in games with a lot of particles and uh, really good graphics like War Thunder. OBS doesn't really have that, and I have actually noticed some slowdown in some of the video that I recorded with OBS, but uh, I figured that out and um, it's something to do with the resolution that OBS was recording at being different to the resolution of what the games were playing at. Uh, but we'll get to those ones, and uh, you'll take a look for yourself. So Fraps dropped a lot of frames while recording War Thunder, whereas OBS didn't have any of that. For the next two games though, OBS does have some slowdown, and the reason is these two games were set at 4x3 resolutions, whereas my OBS is set to record at 16x9. And while Fraps matches the source automatically, OBS doesn't, so it was trying to compensate and stretch the 4x3 games, 
to the size of 16 by 9 and I think that's why it was slowing down a bit. That's something else that you gotta watch out for with OBS. You gotta make sure that all of the resolutions match up and you have to do that manually.
Godzilla 90s version. Rodan. Monsters fight. So as you saw in the last two clips, um, you could see the resolution difference with FreeApps recording from the source and then OBS actually being full screen because it was stretching the game to 16x9. And I think that's what caused the slowdown there. So you can kind of discount those clips. Uh, the next one we'll go into, I made sure that the game is running at 16x9. And uh, let's take a look.
So in conclusion, I think OBS is probably better, uh, just as long as you have all the settings correct, and for the reason that it doesn't frame drop like Fraps. And if it does frame drop, it means you can tweak something and fix it, like the resolution. So I think that at least I'll be trying to use OBS more than Fraps in the future, and hopefully you took away something from this yourselves. See you next time, guys. Take care.